Hi, this is James from Bond with James, and this is the classification and taxonomy task card series. There are a total of 48 task cards in this set. I have printed this set out in color, however, you always have the option to print the task cards in grayscale, and the cards will come out perfectly fine just as well. I find that students tend to be more motivated and engaged when things are printed in color, and it looks a little bit more nicer. Um, and it's a great visual for students. One of the things that I try to do is I try to incorporate various aspects of students' lives, current lives, in the task card set. So for example, social media, many students like Instagram, and so I incorporated that here in one of the questions. Here, Facebook, if they still do Facebook, here's a fictitious classmate character that I created named Angela, and she's a little bit frustrated. Oh, what does binomial nomenclature even mean? Hashtag fell posted 14 minutes ago where students are given a scenario where they are fictitiously scrolling down their Facebook timeline and they notice this post from her and they have to generate a reply to her post in order to help her with her frustration. So that way she can come back to class and enjoy it and not skip. Um, I've also included some QR codes. Now if your class doesn't have access to QR code, for example like an iPad or your students don't have access to that technology but you have access to computers they can always access through the bit.ly link that I've included. Now, just depending on the card with the QR code, it might take them to a website where they have to read a short article. And in this case, they have to provide at least one fact about the kingdom that they read about. It might ask them to summarize and write a one page paper. It might take them to a YouTube video or some other type of video where they have to watch the video clip. And usually these are pretty short and they might have to summarize or come up with an example in addition to what they've seen. They might have to you know, generate a cladogram based on the information that I presented. And I try to come up in multiple ways on representing this so that students can see multiple representations of um, that type of question. There's multiple choice questions. There's compare and contrast. There is, you know, create a word search using terminology that they may have learned in class. They may have created a timeline. Again, multiple choice. There's various cards that I have in this set that, you know, students can use or the teacher can use to assess student learning in class. Now there is no one way to use these task cards in class. There's actually multiple ways that you can use task cards in a class. You can use them during a warm up. If you're out and you have a sub, leave the cards with the teacher, with the substitute, and students have to kind of go through a number of cards, if you will. For students that finish early, you can, again, use as a warm up. You can post one card up on the document camera or on the overhead if you still have that and students have to answer that. You can even differentiate it maybe a little bit and give students some choice and say, hey, here's your warm up. Out of the four cards, pick one and answer it and we're gonna get ready to discuss. So again, there's many ways that you can use task cards in the classroom and I've just provided some samples, but again, this classification and task cards set, sorry, this classification and taxonomy task card set provides various assessment question types that allows you as a teacher to do that. Now one thing that I will say is I did not put the answer on the back because to me that's creating a flashcard and the whole purpose of this was to be task cards not flashcards. However, because I provide an answer key if you want to, you can always write the answers on the back and students can check their learning that way if you know, that's what you like to do. That is the classification and taxonomy task card set. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe by clicking on the button down below the video or in the upper left hand corner of the video. Thanks for watching.